What you gonna do? Oh. Here's where we've been putting the clothes. Hi guys! I'm super excited today because I get to share my new IKEA PAX closet. I know I'm a little shiny. I just did my skincare routine. Just bear with me. Uh, but this has been like a long time coming. I I've noticed like a lot of YouTubers show their finished closets, but not that many show them like buying it, assembling it, and organizing it. Organizing it is the hardest part. So grab a coffee because I'm about to take you on a whole journey. Every time we'd go to Ikea, I fantasized about which closet color I would get, what design, and how I would style the shelves. I was very excited when this dream closet was finally in the budget. You can either have an employee help you design your space, or you can order it online. We did a mix. My boyfriend did a rendering online, but we didn't want to pay for shipping. We printed a list of all the items we needed and piled them onto two carts. I didn't expect it to be a scavenger hunt. Make sure you get the right color every time because some pieces were in the wrong bin. I didn't realize just how many boxes we had until we got home. Let me give you a tour of my disaster closet. On this end, we have all of my fancy clothes. Up here, my boyfriend's dressy shirts. We have extra bedding and blankets off top. Oh, and shoes we don't use. More shirts lost in a mess. Uh, my regular clothes down here and I have nowhere to hang long dresses which sucks oh and back here I hide shoes in a bag so Charlie doesn't eat them it's just driving me nuts that first night we got to work and started emptying the top shelves I never realized how tall and long our closet was until that moment my boyfriend worked the next morning so it was up to me to get things started Hi guys and welcome to day two of this mess. The good news is that all of the top shelves are empty, but the bad news is I still have all of this left, which is mostly my clothes, so I need to find where to hang them around the house. And then I actually have to vacuum because although I vacuum often, I have apparently been missing a lot of Charlie's fur and it has stuck to the bottom of the wall. Yummy. You know who's not going to be helping me today? This lazy guy right here. You know when you start something, you got this burst of energy like, yeah, this is gonna be easy, let's get it done. And an hour in, you realize, oh my god, this is gonna be a lot of work. Like a school project you started the night before thinking you could lie your way to a C+. That's the ramble going on in my head at this exact moment. Finally, totally empty. Here's where we've been putting the clothes temporarily. Over there as well. Over at the table. And then let me show you guys the gem. Over here. Over here, over here. I think we have too much clothes, Charlie. All of the hair that I missed belonging to Mr. Charlie, and then some of it is just stuck on the wall. Okay, so the only thing left is like the skeleton of everything which is screwed on, so... Yes. Welcome to day three. Today, we paint. Unfortunately, I messed up my right arm because Charlie pulled it during our walk. So that means I'm gonna have to try and paint with my left one. This is the progress so far. As you can see, we removed all of the old shelves. We had to plaster all of the holes that used to have the screws inside. My boyfriend started painting with a brush all of the sides. So today I'm gonna go in with a roller and try and finish it off. Oh, Charlie, this isn't for you. No! <laughs> Mommy's 
We painted the walls a dark gray to match the closet so it would look even bigger. Originally, we wanted an earth tone closet, but it was out of stock. I feel like this color fits our personality more. It's neutral but sophisticated at the same time. And it matches our gray kitchen. I only painted some strategic sections that would be visible after installation, but the can that we bought was too small, which set us back. Having to wait for the paint to dry also cost us time and add my wonky arm to the mix and it was a recipe for disaster, but I refused to give up. Painting the ceiling was the worst though. It hurts so much. <laughs> I took it to the jelly. I know. I know, thank you. Oh God. So in the end, I had to use my right arm and it hurts so much, so I'm just gonna go ice it now. That night, my boyfriend assembled the big frames. Charlie was fascinated. It didn't take that long and the instructions were straightforward. This is when the cardboard invasion began. Pieces everywhere, but the closet was finally close to its final form. Welcome to day four. I had to take Charlie on a walk, I had to buy more paint, and then I had to go Mother's Day shopping. But from now on, my priority is going to be making all of these drawers. Doesn't it look amazing already? Like it's really coming together. It's so much storage. Hi guys and welcome to day five. As you can see, I'm surrounded by piles of clothes. So these are all of my maybe items. I don't know whether I'm gonna keep them. Like some are easy no's, they're like jeans that no longer fit me, but others are like sentimental items. Like, you know, shirts that I've had since high school, but I can't keep them forever. And as you guys can tell from all of my haul videos, I'm not very good at throwing things away. So we're gonna look through all of these items together because even though I am getting a brand new closet, I am gonna be downsizing. Up first, we have this sparkly item. The main issue is, in fact, that it sheds. And there are enough things in this house that shed. The other issue is that it is very, very itchy. It's like you're wearing, like, it's like you're wearing a dead cat. However, I once had an amazing photo shoot with this. Like, we went to an electric power plant, and then we went to an abandoned school. And I coupled it with, like, these hot pants and, like, these kick-ass boots. And it was just, it was a vibe. I looked great. But let's be honest. Am I ever going to wear this again? This next one is actually one of my favorites. Hi, baby. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Wow. Nice moves. So this is my Wonder sweatshirt. And it does have sentimental value because I was wearing this when my boyfriend and I had our first kiss. So maybe I should just keep it for that. But the issue is that it's just, it's very kiddish. And I'm trying to elevate my style. I say that while I'm wearing this shirt. Like, who am I kidding? So this next one's gonna piss off my best friend because he bought this with me and it's blue plaid pants. The issue with these is that you need to style them perfectly or you look overdressed really easily the pros is that once again i had a really nice photo shoot with this and i actually have like a felt hat that goes perfectly with it and i'm not getting rid of the hat so should i just keep the pants this is my sassy since birth sweatshirt and i do love it i wear it in the backyard all the time to avoid mosquitoes but i, I don't really need it i live in florida and once again it's kind of kitsch <gasps> baby do you want to play ball ball touch okay so I guess that's it because I have other things to do. Are you guys ready for the big reveal, which I kind of ruined in my little preview, but okay. closet is still not 100% done. I'm still missing glass cases over here and over here. I'm also missing a drawer down there and lights up here. Uh, but I do want to take you inside of the drawers, not my boyfriend's drawers. I'll be respecting his privacy. 
but I do want to show you my organization system. Up top, we have all of the hangers. Uh, this is like my fancy side, like I'm going on a date side plus my raincoat. I do have like vintage pieces in here that I've never even like worn, which is crazy. And it does extend back quite a lot. It's just covered by this uh, curtain. Then over on this side, I have more of my, my casual t-shirts. I have a lot of like new crop tops that I bought that I can't wait to try. Then uh, down here, I decided to like showcase all of my purses. Uh, this is my Kate Spade purse, my prized possession. Um, this is like a limited edition Target purse. This is my little dino purse, which I love. And then that's my go-to for every single day. Uh, so down here in my drawers. All right. <laughs> so this is like my, I only sleep in like a shirt and like shorts sometimes so these are like my sleeping clothes basically and then these are my go-to for like every single day which is usually like a crop top and like you know a set of like tight pants i walk charlie i clean the house i work i do everything with these uh then the second drawer is just my jeans which i downsized a lot i had so many jeans it was crazy um a lot of them didn't fit me anymore and then over here i have like hats um brand new hats which I'm trying to get more into because I keep getting like crazy tans as I'm walking this dog and then down here oh I love this drawer this is my winter drawer you guys remember this fluffy little hat that I got in January yep it's in here and then down here and since I still don't have this drawer I kind of put my beach bags inside of like this little basket and down here is, this is like seasonal stuff yeah I kept it I know I don't know when I'm gonna wear it but I'll find a way Okay, over here, the top, this is like my underwear drawer and I got this like really awesome like divider from Amazon. It was like super cheap. So I got one for my bras, one for my underwear. And then down here, same thing, but for my socks, I still have like all of the space, which I need to figure out how I'm going to utilize. And I got, I got these cute socks from Target recently. I love they have to say it's adult socks, even though they're adorable. <laughs> and then let me see down here oh this is my bathing suit drawer it's also not finished i kind of want to get like the same box that i have here but like a bra a bra version and then all the way down here i just have like exercise clothes which i haven't even worn yet and i have like you know golf shorts and like these are some old uh, work shorts but yeah it's kind of like you know stuff that i, I don't really go to very often but this whole system kind of like works for me so well I'm, I'm so happy another glow up we need to address is charlie who got groomed this week and looks amazing so handsome thank you for coming along with me on this stressful week it ended with me breaking out but it's okay i got a closet in the end so it was absolutely worth it as usual i would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed until next time bye Are you done?